Welcome back to Nader's Nemesis 2.0. I uh, wanted to uh, share with you my next uh, update video, which is uh, number nine. And uh, in this video, I'd like to show you all the things that I've been working on uh, since the previous video where I got the uh, chassis put together with the body and uh, started to do all the connecting and the wheel well work. Um, this next video, I'll show you a lot of the systems and the fabrication associated with those systems that I've started to work on in the front half of the car. So let me uh, go ahead and start showing you what I've got done. Okay, the first thing uh, I'll show you is uh, what I've done in the uh, front part of the interior of the car. Pardon me while I work around the uh, hoist here. I have uh, finished up the firewall, as I talked about before. Um, uh, I was able to do um, uh, pretty much a, a large piece with a couple of patch-in areas around the fender wells. And in addition to the firewall, I, I was able to get the uh, climate control unit uh, installed into the firewall and a lot of the bulkhead fittings uh, put in place uh, with holes so that I can begin to attach all the uh, piping and hoses for heating and cooling with that system. I also uh, installed the steering column from uh, I Did It. It's a, a tilt column and uh, I've got it fastened in with a reinforced um, uh, bracket on the dash area and also a reinforced bracket on the firewall make it nice and sturdy. It's a tilt wheel, it seems to be pretty nice, and I'm uh, looking forward to uh, see how it feels going down the road when we get to that point. I've also installed the uh, master cylinders for front and rear brakes, as well as clutch and the gas pedal. And uh, all those are in place. I've also uh, done some work on the dash for air conditioning vents. You can see I have the center vents cut I still have to do the astro vents on each side, um, and I'll be doing that uh, here in the next month. Um, I also have, um, this unit comes with a defroster, so I have cut out uh, defroster vents, and, and uh, this Corvair will uh, be one of the few who have uh, defrosters in the, in the windshield. Hopefully down here in South Carolina, I won't need them too often, but you never know. So that's uh, kind of the inside of the car. Uh, and the front part of that um, that uh, I've gotten started on. And then let me move around to the front where most of the work took place. As you can see, I uh, have the steering linkage and column uh, put in place. I've got a double universal joint that allowed me to connect uh, the shaft coming from the um, uh, rack and pinion system and uh, having that go through a support on up to the double universal uh, turns nice, nice and smooth. Um, with the master cylinders being down by the lower part of the front wheel, I had to put in a reservoir system that I'll be uh, um, connecting to them with hoses. Uh, fabricated a, a fuel cell and got that put in place. I started with a, a fuel cell that was uh, close to the same size. I had to cut and modify and re-weld it to get it to fit in the space that I have. Uh, it turns out to be uh, 16 gallons, which is what I was hoping for. And I have it connected to the uh, filler in the fender. Uh, again, sticking with the idea of retaining the nostalgic look of the car. So that's in place. So I've got a, a fuel pump from Phytech um, that's inside the tank, and uh, it also has a sending unit, of course. Um, I've got uh, the battery box uh, put in place, um, the, uh, the dryer for the AC unit, and I've got the radiator uh, and condenser unit installed in the front of the car with duct work uh, to direct the uh, air from the uh, openings in the front uh, to go through the condenser and to the radiator. And then the shroud and fan are connected to that. Uh, so that all fits in there pretty nicely. It's uh, surprisingly, I don't have a lot of spare room after that. Um, so 
Um, it took a little time to think about the size of the fuel cell and, and where to put that. Um, by the time I get the headlights and the tubs for those put in, the whole front end here is going to be pretty uh, full. I am going to try and see how this cools with uh, air going through the radiator and going out the fender wells. Um, hoping that my enlarging of those openings um, give me enough flow through that. Uh, we won't know for sure until we get that out in the road and see how that works. But uh, I think uh, there's enough room for the air to pass through there and exit the car and, and uh, get good flow through the uh, engine compartment. I actually should say the front compartment of this car. Uh, so that's uh, the kind of the summary of the work I've done this time. Um, and uh, uh, for the next video, the next set of work, I'm going to be focusing on the passenger compartment. So I'll have more work to do on the dash. I want to get the Astro vents put in. I've got some adjustments I want to make with the gas pedal. Um, I'll be uh, working on the engine cover and uh, sealing that all up from the uh, the uh, passenger compartment. So a lot of work will be going on there. I also have some ideas that I'll share with you at that time about how I'm gonna try to keep this cool back here and where I'm gonna draw intake air. So uh, more to come with that. Uh, that'll be in video 10 and that'll be sometime after Christmas. I'll be probably taking a little bit of break as we're celebrating Christmas with our children and grandchildren uh, later this month. Until then, have a, a great holiday, and uh, we'll be talking to you uh, later uh, in 2023. Thanks.